Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Mr. Forky Upscaler. So on this video, I'm going to show you what settings for game optimizer am I using with LG C2 OLED. This is LG C2 42 inch. I'm going to show you my Xbox Series X settings that I'm using. This is a flight simulator. I'm flying over Edinburgh, Scotland. It's a nice weather here. So I'm going to show you what type of settings I'm using. Please keep in mind, you can judge the quality of this by looking at the video. I'm not doing this video for that reason. I'm doing this video to give you my settings. If you have this television, then go ahead and use those settings. If you don't have this television, then really there's no reason for you to watch this uh, video because if you don't have this TV, then what's the point? This is really intended for uh, the owners of the LG C2 and if they want to know what my preference is because I've been asked quite a lot about my preference so I want to give you guys what I'm using on the Xbox Series X, okay? So this is a 42 inch LG C2 OLED so let's dive right into this, shall we? All right, so first thing first Obviously, you have to be on the game optimizer mode, Dolby Vision game optimizer mode. So, underneath you see that there's a, a dark room. I turn this off. I turn this off so I can squeeze as much peak brightness as possible for the Dolby Vision and HDR. So I turn this off. This is optional, again, but I personally turn it off because I want to squeeze as much of that peak brightness on the HDR and Dolby Vision as possible. So, this is the game optimizer, and you got the old settings. These are two separate uh, departments. One, it's strictly for the gaming, to optimize that gaming quality. And the other one, it's for all of the above, meaning sharpness, color, etc., etc. So, let's first click on the game optimizer. So over here, you see it says Game Genre FPS. Now, this is just a preloaded, presetted, pre-calibrated uh, presets. It doesn't matter which one you use. I just happen to use the FPS preset. So down here, as you can see, it says Dark Room Mode Off. Turn that off. And once you've done that, move to the picture settings. Click on the picture. Here you see a black stabilizer, and I already talked about this in my previous video. What the black stabilizer is, is the uh, adjustment of the black digital levels. Okay, so the dark scenes look naturally dark and not too bright. Same thing here with the white stabilizer. This is where the white digital levels look naturally white they don't look uh, too overblown I selected uh, black stabilizer at 3 to give me that nice dark detailed level meaning I want my shadows to be dark as they are like in real life so I selected at 3 keep in mind this is my own preference okay I'm not using a uh, you know an expensive calibrating equipment this is my preference I hate to repeat this but I do have to for the record because people are gonna be start typing stuff on the comments uh, don't waste your time telling me that this is not professional because of course it's not professional because it's my preference so keep that in mind a white stabilizer set to 15 so this is the first two steps that you need to do uh, select your black stabilizer at uh, 3 and then select your white stabilizer, which is the digital white digital levels at 15, okay? And once you finish with this, once you have this adjusted, then you move on to all settings. You click settings again on your remote, and now you come down here below. You click on all settings. 
and the CEO already says Dolby Vision under Game Optimizer. So we are under the Dolby Vision Game Optimizer. Xbox Series X and Series S, it's a true Dolby console for gaming. They support Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos across the board. So if you love Dolby, the Xbox is for you. Advanced settings. So now we're gonna go to the advanced settings. This is where your brightness, color, sharpness, etc. is. So click on it. So the first thing first, brightness. Guys, your black levels always will be at 50. Never touch this. Always leave it at 50. Because if you move it down, then you're going to crush it. You're going to crush your black levels. If you move it higher, then you're going to over bright your black levels. So always keep this at 50. Contrast. I think by now, I mean, I've been doing this since 2016. I think by now everyone should know that contrast for any HDR format. I don't care if it's a HDR10, HLG, Hybrid Low Gamma, Dolby Vision, it has to be at 100 maximum. This is non-negotiable. You have to have your contrast maximum to take the advantage of high dynamic range. All right? If you're not gonna adjust contrast to 100, then don't even bother using HDR. So. Remember, black level, don't touch it, leave it at 50. Contrast, always maximum. All right. This is like basics. You should, everyone should know this. All right, so next thing is the color. My color depth, it's at 54. Keep in mind, this is my own preference. I felt that 54 gives me that little extra, extra icing on the cake, if you will. But remember, my preference. Now down below you see that I selected fine tune, fine tune color. What is this? What is the fine tune? Well, what the fine tune does, it automatically adjusts any unnecessary color saturation, color spill that might be on the color edges. So I select my color adjustment at medium. Just that's what I selected at medium. I hope you guys are writing this down, pausing the video. Now, moving on to the sharpness, which is clarity. Clarity. My sharpness is 23. People say, but why at 23, Mr. 4K? Why at 23? Again, I hate to be this broken record that I have to repeat myself. It's a preference. I understand professional calibrators, professional this will tell you keep it at zero and I agree keep it at zero but remember again and don't bother writing stuff on the comments because it's not gonna show up all the comments are set for review this is my preference guys it's free if you like it use it if you don't like it you don't have to use it but I don't want to hear about professional this professional that if you want the professional calibrator well then go spend three thousand dollars and get yourself a professional calibrator okay this is free and it's my preference and I hate that I even have to acknowledge this but some trolls will be typing some not uh, some bullshit down below telling me oh you're not professional well then go spend thousands of dollars on a professional calibrator see how that works out for you okay so that's it that's pretty much all there is to it okay Sharpness at 23, color at 54, fine tune, color adjustment at medium, and uh, the brightness, remember, contrast has to be maximum, black levels, you never touch them, leave it at 50. Now this right here, reduce the blue light, guys, this is optional, you don't have to. I choose to use this you don't have to I use this so that way it can help me for the long period of time when I'm playing Call of Duty or something else so it doesn't strain my eyes but this is optional okay and uh, last but not least game optimizer remember turn the dark room off down here turn that off 
and then come here to the picture settings set your black stabilizer at three which is your black digital level set it at three and uh, your digital white levels black uh, white stabilizer white stabilizer at 15. I hope you guys are writing this stuff down pause the video rewind it keep in mind this will only work for C2 because I don't know about the C1 I don't have C1 I only have C2 I can only talk about the television that I have this is intended for C2 users who have Xbox Series X okay and uh, as you can see it looks great it looks it looks amazing it looks amazing to me I don't know maybe it will not look amazing to you but it looks amazing to me uh, keep in mind it's a one thing you watching this on a compressed video on a YouTube versus me seeing this in person and the whole point of this video it's not for me to tell you oh look ooh, wow wow look how great it looks no the whole point of this video is for me to give you the recipe and then you use the recipe and you use that recipe and try it out for yourself on your C2 OLED and again don't ask me about the C1 because I don't have C1 I, I can't tell you you know I don't have all the televisions I can only talk about the television that I have I can only talk about what I have I cannot talk about something that I don't have that's a common sense and if you don't have a common sense well then your comment will not show up guys all right this video is for those who, who have C2 and they've been asking me on a social media hey man I have Xbox Series X I have C2 uh, I'm struggling with uh, game settings for my Xbox Series X what would you recommend and this is what I recommend I think you guys will enjoy it I hope you will but remember if you don't if you don't like it you don't have to use it unlike some other guy that's charging you five dollars to use his preference settings think about that some guy out there whose name I'm not gonna mention is charging you five dollars for his preference master calibrating preference whatever is that supposed to mean uh, I'm just sharing my preference for free if you like it use it if you don't you don't have to go back to your preference end of story go find somebody else and try their settings that's it it's life is really simple it's not that difficult it doesn't have to be dramatic it doesn't have to be difficult it's very simple and that's what I'm trying to do here make it as simple as possible and this video is 13 minutes I know how you guys like to complain that my videos are too long well I'm pretty sure someone's gonna say that this video was too short but anywho there you have it I hope you guys will enjoy these settings and uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in Canada and happy Columbus Day from Monday take care Cheers